was enough for her not long ago I was her number one She told me so And she still means the world to me Just so you know So be careful when you hold my girl Time changes everything Life must go on I'm not gonna stand Please stand in honor of the bride Who presents this bride to be married today? Uh, her mother and I. Gabriel, you can bring your bride forward. <laughs> Dearly beloved, because you have believed in them, loved them, and encouraged them, Gabriel and Christine have invited you here today to witness and celebrate their new life together. Today, as we create this marriage, we also create new bonds and a new sense of family. Please be seated. True marriage is a love story that begins well before the wedding day. For me, the love story of Gabriel and Christine started back in December of 2012 when Cindy said we'd be having a guest for the holidays. I told her I thought it was highly unconventional to have a stranger over for Christmas dinner. But her response, he might be a stranger now, but this kid ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and she was right, Gabriel wasn't going anywhere. And despite their personal struggles, these two continued to grow and develop this relationship. And their love story continued. And it had all the elements of a truly riveting tale. There was romance, drama, <laughs> conflict, <laughs> forgiveness, love, and new life, all leading us here today as we start to write this new chapter. Because love recognizes no barriers, it jumps hurdles, leaps fences, and penetri penetrates walls to arrive at its destination of hope. And hope is what I see when I look at my beautiful niece, you're no longer that little six-year-old running down the hall with a gigantic daisy on your t-shirt, all excited to watch Barney. <laughs> you're a young woman in love with your groom, a woman so proud of the family she's creating, and a woman so excited for the future you have planned. When I look at my new nephew, you are not a stranger any longer. You are a confident young man in love with your bride, determined to protect your wife from all anxiety and stress, and a man who's eager and ready to provide a wonderful life for his precious girls. And I know that the two of you will continue to love each other and to rejoice in each other's happiness. And I know that you will continue to inspire each other's successes and be each other's light in darkness. And it's that knowledge that allows me to confidently ask, Gabriel Moreno, do you take Christine to be your lawfully wedded wife, promising to love and cherish through joy and sorrow, sickness and in health, and whatever challenges you may face for as long as you both shall live? I do. Christine, Nikki Ortiz, <laughs> do you take Gabriel Moreno to be your lawfully wedded husband, promising to love and cherish through joy and sorrow, sickness and in health, and whatever challenges you may face for as long as you both shall live? I do. Will you hand your bouquet to Christy? At this time, the couple will face each other, join hands, and share, 
share the vows that they've written for one another. Oh, we can share them. I might share them. Okay. Gabriel, go <laughs> first. <laughs> Christine, you're the light of my life. Your love let me see color in a black and white world. I promise to encourage, support, respect, and be truthful to you as we walk together through a lifetime of making memories with our little family. Life has trials and I am entirely ready to face them with you by my side. I love you, Christine. Gabe, I stand before you today happier than I've ever been. You've changed my life in a way that is impossible to put into words. Ugh. Our journey has been far from perfect, but every moment has been worth it. Every day I see you with Amelia, I fall more and more in love with you. Today and for the rest of my life, I promise to give you my whole heart. I promise to always be faithful and supportive. My number one priority will always be to make you and Amelia feel more loved, feel loved more than you ever thought possible. I promise to always be your number one fan and stick by you even when all odds are against us. I take you today and for the rest of my life to be my emergency contact, <laughs> my best friend, and finally my husband. I will love you with all of my heart for all of my days. They have the rings. Your wedding rings will serve as a symbol of the covenant that you have just spoken. Because they are seamless, with no beginning and no end, they are the perfect representation of love. Because a perfect love story has no end. Gabriel, will you take this ring, place it on Christine's finger, and holding it there, repeat after me. With this ring, with I thee wed. I thee wed. And with it, I bestow upon thee. And with it, I bestow upon thee. All of the treasures. All of the treasures. Of my mind. Of my, my mind. My heart and my hands. <laughs> my heart and my hands. Christine. That. Place on Gabriel's finger and holding it there. With this ring, with I be wed. I be wed. And with it, I bestow upon thee. And with it, I bestow upon thee. All the treasures. All the treasures of my mind. Of my mind. My heart. My heart. And my hands. And my hands. From Colossians, Lo live and love in thanksgiving. May the peace of Christ reign in your hearts, because it is for this you were called together as parts of one body. Always be thankful. In the spirit of one body. I will now ask that you light the unity candle to signify your two lives becoming one. <laughs> And by the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Gabriel, welcome to the family. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>